Norwood Community Media has been following the ongoing story of the coronavirus in Norwood. As of last week, a number of residents, including 11 town officials, were placed on self-quarantine as a safety precaution because they were in close contact with the person who tested positive for the virus. Over the weekend, the town released four separate press releases regarding this topic with the intention of keeping the public informed on the situation. Beginning last Friday, the public was informed that a group was to be placed on self-quarantine, which included town manager Tony Mizuko, Superintendent Thompson, and nine other town officials. Following the announcement of the self-quarantine residents, the town started working to release information to inform the public about the virus and what can be done to prevent the spread. Monday, the town released another announcement that town manager Mizuko had indeed tested positive for COVID-19, which then caused a second group of town officials and residents to be self-quarantined. Those names will not be released because of federal health and privacy regulations. Over the course of the week, the town released two more statements regarding the Nord Hospital and the Senior Center. Wednesday, the Nord Hospital conducted a drill to test a remote tent that would be erected in the case of an emergency. Also Wednesday, the Norwood Senior Center released a statement that they were canceling a number of their group events for the time being. There are small group activities that are still going to be available at the center. The COA bus will continue to operate, but will be limited to a handful of riders at a time. All of the town's seven press releases are available on the town's website, www.norwoodma.gov. Norwood Community Media has also produced a number of PSAs and informational videos in partnership with the town and Norwood Hospital. If you are interested in learning more, you can find the videos on the NCM Bulletin Board and on all of Norwood Community Media's social media. Norwood News will continue to follow this story as it develops.